Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the Zombie Plant Grow Kit. And I'll go through everything that comes with the kit and how long it's going to take uh, to be able to see it. But at the end, it's incredible because when you do touch the leaves, the plants do play dead, which is pretty cool. So now this zombie kit is uh, affiliated with the Tickle Me Plant Company. I also had this uh, also. So what I'll do is go through this now. All right, so in the description, I'll show you where I got my zombie plant grow kit. Um, and I'm going to go through the box and what comes with it. It has everything you need and plus more. So you can grow it multiple different times, uh, though I'm only on my first set. So uh, when you first go through it, this is the seeds. So the pack's sealed and it's got the seeds in there. Um, and then it has the directions on how to get them going, which was really uh, right on T. It said 21 days. Um, and it was. So you follow those instructions and then on the back they have some fun activities which I'll be going through some of them to observe and what you can do for experiments with, with the plant. So uh, the kit comes with a little uh, greenhouse here that has six potting soils um, for the seeds. So you have plenty of seeds as you see. Um, there's a seed pack there and then inside we'll be able to see you have enough to do it a couple times. They give you a generous amount of seeds uh, with this. So I'm going to start off a little bit more than six because I like to have a little bit extra. And then you'll see here that we're going to get the water very, very hot. So we're going to boil it right before it gets all the way boiling. We're going to take it off the burner and then we're going to put it into a coffee cup um, and then let it there for 48 hours. So I put it in my favorite coffee cup, the St. Thomas Virgin Islands. It was a gift of mine uh, from a really good friend. So that's going to give it good luck. So I'm going to put those seeds in and I'm going to let them uh, stay there for 48 hours and then I will check back um, from there. Okay, it's been 48 hours and we're ready to plant our seeds. So we're going to ask, add a half a cup of water to the soil pellets uh, in the growing kit tray and we're going to wait until the pellets expand about an inch and a half. Um, and then we're going to pour off any excess water after that. So you can see it's a lot of uh, water in there, but those... Um, uh, pellets are going to absorb a lot of the water and then if there's any extra we're going to pour those off so it took a little bit uh, you know a couple minutes to get them all expanding you can see they're expanding right now um, and then uh, after that we'll go to the next step so a little bit of fast motion here you can see the half a cup was exactly what we needed they expanded all the way up and there was no excess water for me to have to pour out and I was ready to go to the next step so I'm um, taking the pencil and uh, it says to mark three holes in each pellet about an eighth of an inch deep. I'm only doing one uh, per pellet, so I'd have other seeds for another time. Uh, so once you get those uh, each of eighth of an inch deep uh, hole in there, you're going to pour your water out um, that the seeds have been soaking for 48 hours. And you're going to place uh, your seeds. If you did three holes, you're going to put three in each one. Um, in my case, I'm going to put one in most of them and maybe a couple in the others. So then you just grab your seeds and you put them in each of the holes that you made uh, with your pencil. After you get all the seeds in, um, the next step is to take your pencil and kind of just kind of push the dirt just a little bit over each one of them uh, so they're all a little bit covered right there. Now we take the little greenhouse uh, top and we're going to put it on top and then we're going to put it in a warm location, not by a windowsill, uh, something that's about 70 to 85 degree Fahrenheit. You want to keep your seeds moist, so you're going to continue to put water in there and then remove the cover once two seeds sprout. And here I've got a couple seeds sprouting, so I'm going to remove the cover and keep it going from there. Now they aren't going to be able to play dead until you get that second set of leaves in there. So you can see the smaller little hand leaves. Uh, those are the ones that can actually start moving when you touch them, and I'll start showing that when they get there closer. Here they are sleeping, so where it's really cool is every night they go down, they go to sleep, and then they wake up in the morning, so you can kind of clock what time they do uh, do that. Mine woke up at 7.30 every morning, and I'm in California time. So here's a time lapse I took with my iPhone, um, and you can see the sun coming up as it comes across the pool table, and the leaves uh, start to open up as the sun gets there. So every night, every morning at 7.30 they got up and then they went to bed around 8.30. What was cool about these zombie plants is you can take a toothpick and just touch one leaf and only that one leaf uh, would actually close up. See, I got that middle one right there. If you touch it right, now it actually took two there um, and that side goes. And so they'll close all the way up as they touch or hence, um, you know, play dead, right? 
So uh, it doesn't work on the bottom leaves, just the top leaves, but uh, they are sensitive uh, to uh, when you touch it with a toothpick or with your hand. Um, I even blew on it and they closed. Um, and then it took about, it seemed like it took a little over five minutes for them to reopen again. So uh, they keep getting bigger and bigger. So I can't wait to see how, how large they actually get. So this is pretty cool uh, overall um, with, the, with these plants. Here with my hand, you can see I even touch it and the whole, the whole stem goes down and the leaf starts to close up to uh, just plain dead, just as it's as advertised. So this experiment, they already woke up. It's about 10 a.m. and I hid them in a dark area and uh, so they would think it was nighttime and it did work. Um, it does not clock orient. It didn't know it's 7.30 in the morning or 8.30 at night. And so they all closed up because it was dark, which was pretty cool. Here's about 30 days in. Now my plants have multiple different, uh, you know, uh, play dead leaves there. So they're getting bigger and going. Um, only four of them came up out of the six, but I was pretty happy with that. I have other seeds. And so uh, it's, overall, this was a great experiment, a lot of fun. Uh, great interactive uh, activity for the kids um, as I enjoyed it myself. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, please remember to click uh, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Okay, guys, I just want to announce, like, go check out that video. Ooh, and that video. Yeah. Oh, and also, like, way down there, there's a red button to subscribe. And... What about these videos? And click on these two videos at the same time. And those two videos and these videos and yeah.